was an incredible experience to be able to come to a place where our Lord was buried. And then we know, of course, that the tomb does not hold him, that he arose. Here we are at a place that represents life from the dead. Amen. Hallelujah. Just to deepen our awareness of that. And when we believe that Jesus Christ rose from the dead, we will be saved. And that's a minute-to-minute -minute experience in every situation, as Brother Shrilo has taught us. It's relevant at the point of our need. And you know, Praise Don, God. one of the great prophecies that God has given to us in this hour, because we believe that this is the strategic end-time hour for the church. And one thing he souls is that there's going to come a powerful spiritual and it's going to be manifested within the body of Christ. And that powerful spiritual force within the body of Christ is the same spirit that raised up Christ from the dead. Can you imagine what's going to happen when that powerful spirit that raised up Christ from the dead becomes alive in God's people? And they all go forward. It's no wonder Jesus said, greater works than these shall you do. And as you told us, it will bring about the greatest manifestation of the power of God that the world has ever seen. This is a time for you to rejoice. This is a time for you to have extreme hope. This is a time for you to praise the Lord that God's given you the opportunity to be alive in this hour. Mama? It's a thrill to be able to stand here to know that this tomb is empty. We're so thrilled to know that that hope is in, within us, that we too shall rise to meet him very soon. Amen. It's, it's a wonderful experience to be here. Honey, because he lives, we, we too. too shall live. Okay, we're talking to friends. Many of you were friends for the very first time, but what an incredible place to meet and become friends. We're inside the awesome, incredible empty tomb. And Teresa, this great first lady of world evangelism, and Don Mandel, God's incredible director of our outreach for Israel and the nations of the world. We're standing here I want to say in awe, yes. but it is in awe, but it goes something beyond awe. We stand in here, something turning within inside of us, and I hope you're getting it. I hope it's turning inside you. You know what you need to get? He is not here. Look at that empty tube. Come on, look, look at that empty tube. He is not here. He is risen. He is alive. Mm. And those of you that are watching, some becoming friends for the first time on Twitter and YouTube and all these other wonderful opportunities that we have to talk and visit, let me tell you, he wants to become alive within you. He's not here in this tomb, but he's here Amen. in our hearts. Amen.